Firecard. So good. All right, what's happening, Jack? All right, well, Brett Rippon looked pretty good last night. I know it's against the third teamer, so shouldn't put too much stock in it. But is Brett Rippon battling with Tyson Bajant for the number two spot still? We saw Tyson Bajant leave the game after just a couple of passes. Do you guys think there's a competition for the number two spot I mean, right the now? The way he played yesterday and his familiarity with the offense, listen, you want your back, you want the best option in, in case of emergency. So let it be a competition. And it'll work itself out. They're going to get enough time with three games to go. Those two are going to get enough time to play. So, yeah, let them battle it out. Why wouldn't you want a competition there? Wouldn't just hand it to Tyson Bajan. Who would no. you give up our hand to right now? I, my, my guess is Bajan might still slightly have that, but I would Rippin say was impressive. It's much too early to draw a conclusion that uh, given the opportunity yesterday, I think Brett Rippon has taken the most of it, but Bajan wasn't given an opportunity for a reason that they've got a ton of trust in. Mm, yeah. There you go. See how they divvy up playing time in the next couple of games, especially, and what they do with that joint practice with Cincinnati. What else, Jack? So there's been a lot about Pedro Grafal recently. Sure. Sox, obviously, 17 losses in a row. I asked you, well, let's just go in recent memory. Is Pedro Grafal the worst coach in Chicago sports history? Or oh, really there's a lot. The last 30 years. I mean, Guys, there's a lot of bad stuff. Terry Bevington, Terry Bevington was pretty bad. There's something to behold. Jim Boylan's name that comes Jim to Boylan mind for me. Jim Boylan was pretty bad. Yeah. Tim Floyd was pretty bad. Sure. I liked Tim personally, but yeah. Tim was pretty bad. Terry Bevington was terrible. Uh, this is right up there. How can it not be? Look, I mean, look at his winning percentage. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, it's just they're completely inept. Oh, is Orville Tessier a good coach or a bad coach? Orville Tessier was an okay coach. He's a Blackhawks Black Black coach Hawks. in about what? Uh, Early mid-80s. mid-80s. Mid-80s? Yeah. Mid-80s. Orville Tessier. Orville might have been one of those guys that had two runs. Did he? Oh, what about Lord Mollican? Yeah, he's bad. That's probably your answer. Lord Mollican. Lord Mollican, who yeah. nobody can even remember, is probably your answer. Um, no, Tessier did just have one run 83, 84, and 85. Uh, not great, but uh, not terrible. Lord Mollican's probably your answer. And then Pedro Grafal's a close second. There you go. My thing with Grafal at this point, they're not trusting him to develop players because there's no players to develop on the roster right now. They don't trust him with a winning roster. He won't be here when they win. But I just don't even understand the point of, of them holding on to him. I mean, I mean I other, than being cheap, season, other than being cheap, I right. think, Jack, like yeah. they'll, just, they'll, like they'll that, buy it out at the end of the year. You know, it made Rick Hahn smile. Didn't it when he hired Yeah, Griffle. it made him so Remember, much it made for him that. Smile? Yeah. Stop uh, it. I think he stays just so Jerry Reinsdorf can stick it to, to, to Rick, Rick to, even yeah. though Rick's not in the organization anymore. Yeah, well, he's Jerry's organization. so he's petty. He's still paying him, too. He's so petty, probably. He's probably um, still paying him, so he wants to just kind of, this is your guy that you love. Look how great he is. I'll call your Lorne Mollican and raise you an Alpo Suhonen. By the way. Oh, Alpo? Uh, anything else real quick, Jack? Yeah, so Simone Biles, they were saying on the Olympic broadcast that her head, like, on the mat, now the mat has a little bit of spring on it, she touched, like, 11 or 12 feet off the ground yeah. with her head. So, yeah. yeah. So my yeah, question one of her is, flips. give her a little mat, and do you think she could win the NBA dunk contest? <laughs> uh, well, when you, when you say a mat, that, that mat's well, got like a they, spring spring to them. It's got a they, little bit of yeah. spring. Oh, if Those you, mats have springs yeah, on so, the floor so routine. Why don't yeah. we just go with the trampoline then? If it's the same thing, then I would say, yes, she probably could. Gymnast, she so, gets do you think that, she could win it off the she floor? She gets no. that height, though, from the whipping. Yeah, your goes right. Front handspring into the back handspring. Yeah. Oh, so you couldn't. And then, oh, I got it's the combination the okay. and then combination. propelling her up into the air right, is so why I'd she gets so no. high. I will say they she's are. She's up there. She's in control of what she's yeah. doing, but she won't be able to do that with a basketball. They right are now. gymnasts are truly spectacular athletes. Yeah, the well, amount of power absolutely. they generate, York, like for, uh, their, 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 their explosiveness yeah. and their strength, amazing. Amazing. So I didn't realize that here comes some of the, the physics Uga, Ugandan. Here comes, here comes the Ugandan, Ugandan runner. We're watching the 10,000. This is the men's final? Men's 10, final. 10,000 meters. 10,000 meters. 10, meters. We are currently at 3,000 meters. They, uh, they should be done with this race right before you guys finish crosstalk. That's yeah. awesome. We'll see how uh, look, we'll look at the time. Oh, no. We've got three Ethiopians up front. And they're Right now, they've got 18 laps to go. And you guys are not doing play-by-play. -play. We're doing this no. after the fact. After so we just want to yeah. clarify for any uh, 100 correct, standards yeah. and practices taking place. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, the All race right. is happening. We'll take a break. Who's got the final word, Chris, today? We're Your not goal. letting you know. Uh, the good kids got the final word. Then we're back with Crosby.